Yo, what's going on guys? Michael Jordan of the Copy Dog here back with another Overwatch League video and stage two has finished. Congratulations to the San Francisco Shock for having a perfect stage going 7-0 and and not dropping a single map. The Vancouver Titans, London Spitfire, Los Angeles Gladiators, New York Excelsior, Dallas Feel, Hangzhou Spark, and Shanghai Dragons for all making stage playoffs. It's a pretty big achievement. Five of these teams are brand new to this season's playoffs, and I believe two of them have never been in a playoff, being Hangzhou and Shanghai Dragons. So, today we are going to go through the entire bracket and predict which teams I think are going to win in the Stage 2 playoffs. So... Let's hop right into it. So for the first match, we have the San Francisco Shock going up against the Shanghai Dragons. Now, we already saw this match today. I am recording this Sunday, and it was a 4-0. While some moments were incredibly close, Shanghai overall looked like the better team, and they looked like they were able to punish Diding Sombra. So I feel like if the Shanghai Dragons want a legitimate chance to beat the uh, San Francisco Shock... They need to come up with just something extremely wacky because they were extremely punishing the Fara and they were also punishing the Sombra. So they have to come up with something else, maybe like a Doomfist of Guangzhou Charge. That worked somewhat against the teams that they went against, but they need to come up with something if they even want a chance of taking on the Shock, who I think right now are the best team in the league. First off, congrats to Shanghai for the organization. This must be huge making their first playoff. But, unfortunately, they go against the best team in the league, in my opinion, right now. So, I think San Francisco is going to take this match 3-0. For the next match, we have the Hangzhou Spark going up against the London Spitfire. So, honestly, I've been really impressed as of recently with Hangzhou Spark and the way they're playing. I feel like the more that they play Gu Shui and they get used to Crystal as well, the better this team is going to get. Godspeed is looking incredible on that Zarya, and the rest of the team seems to be doing better, especially Bebe. Bebe has been doing a lot better this stage compared to last stage. But you also have the London Spitfire, who, again, have looked incredible as well. With Birdring back in the lineup, he's not on Zarya, thank God, but he is doing pretty good on the Brigida, and their overall team's looking solid. Jester is starting to look like the best main tank in the league that we know he can be, not just on Winston, but also on Reinhardt. This, this, is, this is a really hard match to call for me personally, because as good as I think the London Spitfire are... I just, I don't know why, but I feel like the Hangzhou Spark can take this match off of him, which is why I predict Hangzhou Spark is going to be taking this match 3-2 against the London Spitfire. And then to kick off Friday, we have the new choke, <coughs> New York Excelsior going up against the Los Angeles Gladiators, who also choked in <laughs> respective right. Both teams did not have a good last week with the LA Gladiators losing 3-1 to the Boston Uprising and New York Excelsior again losing to the Atlanta Reign. Now, personally, I think that both of these teams had somewhat of a hiccup. Or did they? I think LA Gladiators definitely had a hiccup. For some reason, Boston Uprising just came to play that day and the New York Excelsior just did not look good. Especially this stage, Nene, I thought... Before stage two, he was definitely looking like a top five, if not a top three Zarya in the league. But this stage, he started to fall off. Ever since that grab whiff against the Seoul Dynasty in stage one playoffs, he has just not looked like himself. I they they have to freaking like Mono has to just carry this team along with everyone else. I don't think New York are going to win. I say the LA Gladiators take this one three one. And then for the final match, we have the Dallas Field going up against the Vancouver Titans. Now, I do believe that these two teams have already faced each other. I think it was in week three. Yeah, so it was in week three. These teams have already faced each other and Vancouver won that 4-0. And I don't see it any differently happening this game. While the Dallas Field have looked better ever since the Dallas Homestead, I don't think it will be enough to topple a team such as the Titans, which is why I think the Titans are going to be taking this one 3-0. And with that, that is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will have another video out on Saturday with the semifinal predictions. And my montage comes out tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So look forward to that. 
And that's all I have to say. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.